But Owen, how do we navigate then the next four years? Not necessarily from a personnel standpoint or even a tactical standpoint, but more so our approach in the lead up to another World Cup. Is it time to perhaps borderline sacrifice the Six Nations campaign or two in order to potentially blood new players, in order to gain an understanding or evolve as a team? Uh, Or like, you know, by the same token then, if you look back at England in 2018, they were getting absolutely slated and talking about they didn't know where they were going wrong uh, in an off year for them. Uh, Like, maybe there isn't quite a, a master plan and things just have to click into place at the right time. Yeah, I, I don't think the Six Nations will be sacrificed. I think that's the cash cow that runs the game for the RFU. So uh, it's an incredibly important ter- tournament to the Union. So I, I, it will never be used as a development um, competition. And yeah, I, I, to be honest, it's hard to find what the what the right answer is. Why Ireland haven't got past the quarterfinal? And, and is it part of the preparation in, the, in that four-year cycle? I'm not so sure. Um 2015, I don't think he can legislate for the injuries that Ireland experienced leading into that Argentina game. Uh, 2011, obviously, come off the back of a Grand Slam in 09 and, and, and on the day against Wales, we're just beaten by a better team in Wales. Um, I don't know if you can say much about the four years before that had anything to do with that loss in 2011. And, and again, is it just a, a case of the Irish team peaked in, in 2018? That was, as good as it was going to get for that group of players. And, and once you get to the summit, it, it's very, very difficult to stay there. And that's when you probably do need to keep evolving your game and find different ways to break down teams because the analysis that's done these days is you need to be evolving and progressing and finding different ways to challenge defences. And that probably will be a criticism of Ireland is that they haven't developed as much as other teams have. When you look at New Zealand, like a, a great example from New Zealand at the weekend is everyone's talking about what an, a brilliant attacking game they had. They kicked 29 times compared to Ireland's 23. So they set up their attacking plan through a really varied kicking game through Moangi and Barrett and, and won a territorial battle and manipulated Ireland's backfield. And that's not something you'd always, um, I guess, uh, associate with New Zealand's teams but they I think they've taken a little bit of a leaf out of Ireland's book to be fair because the amount of times they turned Ireland with little uh, grubber kicks down the edges kick passes to manipulate Carney and the wingers um, they just they dominated territory I think Ireland spent 50% of their possession in their own half which um, is something you'd associate with Irish teams doing themselves so I think New Zealand have evolved their game in the last two years and, and understand the the value of, of a really really uh, robust kicking plan to kind of set up your attack 